better. As I said before, back in, give you a brief preview or example what structure engineer or house inspect and all that stuff does. This isn't a part of the HVAC unit, as in ventilation. This is not a H high B mini split duct system or mini split duct high B system. It's gas central force air. Now, normally, if you want to find the age of your air conditioning unit, you will look at the model number. The first three or four numbers, it will give you the date and age and year it is. Usually, these last for about 25 years, some 15 or 13 years. Since this location is central force gas air, these two last about a good 15 years, depending on how well the maintenance is. As a house inspector, you always want to check this. When you do your report, you want to give the model number, the model north, the serial number, because sometimes the information can be serial number, the voltage, and the phase in the hertz. Now, as a house inspector, you want to go further than running the tests on these. You check in the... The biggest line is usually the section line. It's supposed to be cold. The smallest line is usually the refrigerator line or the liquid line. That's this right here. Usually the corrugated line is the electrical power supply. As you know, it's corrugated. So the corrugated means the electrical box. It also used for outside. Uh, it's hard to say because based on the coding of certain states, it's different than national coding. That's the international coding made by the U.S. That's for every other country. Which don't follow, which have their own rules. Then there's national code for the whole U.S. That no states follow that rules. Then there's state coding, and then there's the city coding, then the municipal coding, and then there's a the local coding. Yeah, I know, stupid. Um, what are you looking for as a house inspector? Is make sure there's no holes or entrance into the building because bugs can get in there. Liquid can fall off. This power box is hanging off. It also you gotta make sure the box is the right amperage. There are certain things that the house inspector you don't do, depending on what code you follow. There's Astra, there's Ashy, there's Isa, there's Isaia, there's Nana, Nana C or something, whatever. They have their own coding, and then there's a state house inspector code where you need qualification or license for it. Or you can just work a job without going to the state board. I prefer those states because it's board crap, it's the same thing. If you do enough construction or HVAC or anything like that, you get the guys where it's needed to be there or not. But, you know, whatever. And you also want to make sure these kind of units, the air conditioning unit is sitting about three to four inches off the ground. This is correct here. But the suction line and the refrigerator line that going in the building has a whole depth. You can tell they've tried to put coagulant on it, which is not good for this. But, you know, whatever. Power box hanging off as well. <coughs> Next thing you should do is look inside. The air conditioning as a house suspect you don't go opening stuff like this but unless you are qualified HVAC you usually write down recommended further inspection by qualified personnel if you like me with a qualification HVAC and HVAC R then you can let's make sure you put that down as separate what you're looking for is any dent any breaking fans and stuff you can tell the compressor and the refrigerator at the bottom as a structure engineer though, what you're making sure is the level of the ground, the type of soil you look located in, as well as the type of materials the building is made of. On top of that, if any trees or bushes nearby, if you have a bunch of trees right nearby this thing right here, then you are going to not have good airflow coming in. Usually what you do is going to check out, come outside, make sure you have hot air coming out or cold air coming out. The reason why is because during summer seasons, you want cold air to come out and during winter seasons, you want hot air to come out over the exhaust. And after my house gets sold and gets out my name, I'm going to make my own house. Usually in this location, if you can see the top of the roof, this will be a flu exhaust vent on top of it, which we already seen over there. There should be a certain feet, I don't know what the state law is, off the valley and away from the ridge, as same as away from the, what's that? Away from any windows. <sighs> 
as I said before, as soon as I sell my house and just out my name, I'm going to build my house up from scratch. No more nice specking, cold, poor crap stuff. Now, this is my washroom here, and you can tell what kind of cooling and heating system you use. This is a storage tank, a water, a water storage tank, about 50, 100 gallons. It's the same thing when you look at it, but we're on a air conditioning system, not the water system. Like I said, it's located in central forest air, meaning there's a burner with a boiler got go through a ventilation duct that bring in the gas line, which is the yellow one. If I remember, yeah, yeah, it's the yellow line. Gas line that comes in, comes going through here now. I'm not going to go too far details for this video, but usually the gas line does go into the gas vent. All the exhaust gas will get burned out and go throughout the flu system while the other gas go out through the building and heat up the room and location. And then there's the water vent right there as well. Right there. My bad. But this is not a mini split duct system though. That's for sure. That I know of. Unless there's one of the new ones. Because I doubt it. I'm out with housing inspecting one and mini split duct systems. 